Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody? Happy New Year. That's what I should say, isn't it? Um, this is the first one. Oh, sorry, I'm moving things around and I just need to go on my uh, morning menu. And now my phone's dinging at me. <laughs> Silence. Oh, no, it's on my phone. What's in that? Anyway, good morning. How are you? <laughs> Hope everyone is well. I'm just finding the chat on um, my iPad because um, it doesn't always pick it up on... Why is it saying... Want to go away? <laughs> it's not Studio YouTube. Gosh, I can't find the YouTube. I can't find YouTube. <laughs> Why is it doing that? This is I'm not there. YouTube. Hang on. I'll get there in a minute. Right, that's better. <laughs> my channel. Where am I live yet? I'm, oh, it's got a new banner going across the top. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they've done something new good morning anyway good morning right i've got the chat on i think why oh, the chat's not showing what have they changed <laughs> I'm gonna, hopefully i'll see who's here oh hello della hello hello my lovely patrons <laughs> i've had had a few more patrons over the last few days thank you very much for joining me since i put my video up um i was just going to show some patreon videos paintings i've been painting like a mad thing it's good it's a good thing um yeah <laughs> good morning lisa right, i'm just finishing my cup of tea and i just went and got some clean water because you know start off as you mean to go on and all that i forgot <laughs> you're quite distant i've i've put my camera up high and i can't change it at the moment so you will have to be far away here it's not that far away and it's a horrible dark stormy morning here it's um really windy so if you hear a strange noises it's the wind rattling my windows it kept waking me up at night <laughs> anyway i hope my sound's okay can someone say yes thank you so then i know then i know it's so i'm okay to carry on <laughs> but these are are um paintings that i've done you saw me do this one we did this one live didn't we and i'm going to put it into a talk through video soon so that'll probably be next week loud and clear good thank you lisa <laughs> and um this is going up this is a video i made the other day it's, I've, I've, i'm so organized i've like scheduled all these videos that i've been doing over the last week that i've done so um it's um they're all up there and waiting to go which is good this one for them when they go up there i think this one goes up friday and i've done this one which is it looks really pale in the <laughs> i have to keep doing this sorry about my camera I keep you know, i can't change the settings on it and it's really annoying me and i hate loggy tech at the minute <laughs> so i've done some nice like textual landscapes and this goes up tonight <laughs> this video this is of like a million zillion textures that I've created on a piece of paper and if you're a patreon you've probably already seen this because I uploaded it a couple of days ago so you get this video I think it goes up tonight which is good it's got like shows you how to do like millions of textures but if you've been following me live you've, you probably already know because I do it all the time um I've painted this there, but I don't like it. It was from a, it, yeah. I was like following along with a Jane Haynes tutorial. I love her. I love the way she paints. <laughs> um, I do tutorials because um, I like doing them. <laughs> you learn things from other people all the time. So um, yeah, and this is a class that would be up. This is the winter like florals class. Is that, the light's not very good. <laughs> This is like part of the winter florals and I've got lots of lovely yummy colours going in there and then this one's not quite finished. It's a lovely really loose pansies and this one, I love this one. It's like pansies but it's like the loosest, juiciest painting ever with loads of lovely texture. I've gone a bit mad with the salt on it but it's just really pretty and the colours are pretty. They're like winter pansies. Sure. So this morning I'm not sure what to paint. 
I was thinking I might paint some, um, is there anything anybody would like me to paint <laughs> before I go? I'm, I'm just like, oh, what should I paint this morning? I'm, I won't paint it out. I wasn't, um, my brain wasn't prepared this morning for stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what should I paint? Uh. <laughs> so, anyone that got any idea? This is just a piece of, let me just finish my cup of tea. I was thinking like an abstracty landscape or I might just do a really textural background and see what flowers I can see in there. I might find some, what can we find? Feathers. I did feathers the other day. <laughs> um, feathers. No, I'm on the move for feathers. <laughs> feathers end up, my last feathers ended up looking like leaves. <laughs> And I've like, I've got, yeah, I have got lots of feather paintings. I wonder where they all are. They want I've sold for um, feathers. Always sell for like uh, fabric designs for interiors. So always, whenever I do feathers. <laughs> but I don't know. Shall I, I might might start seeing feathers in a loosey goosey background. So maybe if I just start a loose background. Like, ignore what's on here. Because I want, if I'm going to do a really loose background, I want to, um, you're a bit obsessed with painting feathers. <laughs> I've got some lovely patterns with like feathers and uh, some of them are really bright and crazy feathers and nice things that are just going on. It's nice. Let's um, make a crazy background. I've been trying, what I've been trying to do, I know it might sound a bit weird. <laughs> I've got like my box of, these are like my watercolours that I sort of, the nice ones I liked, but there are ones in here that I never use. So what I thought I'd do <laughs> is, it's going to be a mystery painting, mystery painting this morning, okay. I thought I'd pick out the ones that I don't use much, which would be the tubes that are full, and I'm going to stick them on here, and then we I choose five colours, okay. So I've got this one. Looking out for the fat tubes of paint. I got this one, which is a Horden crap lac rosa, <laughs> rose matter. <laughs> which is a rose matter, so we've got quite a lot of reds. Maybe I don't paint with a lot of red, that's weird. And there's another red there, now I want to go for a different colour. I'm going to pick a green. This is Sap Green by Mission. Ugh. Those colours are going to look weird together, I think. And then there's a, like a purpley red violet colour. I hardly use of. How many is that for? I need one more. What colour should I go for? I'll go for a this fun one over here. I don't want the shell pink, so that would be boring. This, they're all sort of reddy colour. There's another rose madder. I've got rose madder on the bank. I've got lots of. Um, what do we need? A blue. That's blue. We do. This is. Windsor and Newton, Windsor Blue. So this is going to be a very weird painting. This is what this mixture is down there. <laughs> it's like the weirdest colours I had and I was just slapping them all about. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not sure if my... Um, why is the um, chat not working on the... Uh, my, my iPad? Is everyone else's chat working? We well, wouldn't know, would you? Because you wouldn't be able to answer me. <laughs> it's sort of working on my computer, but I know it starts working on the live stream, but then it gives up halfway through. Think, yeah, people are talking. I'm just going to ignore it now, and it stops. So I'm not sure if it is. So I'm sorry if I don't answer anybody. The last one chat I saw was um, Lisa saying about she's obsessed with feathers. So look how clean my water is. So I'm just slapping on a bit of water just because we're going to do like a wet and wet crazy painting and see what happens and then um, I'll pick some flowers out probably be flowers all right that's okay thank you Melanie it is working people just start talking to me <laughs> how sad <laughs> I know what I need in there I need a yellow why did you pick it up didn't I I had a I've got like these tubes of Jackson's a cadone gold which is my favorite color i'm going to slap that in there as well otherwise i think it might be a bit 
a bit crazier. Now I've got all this watercolour, but if I don't use it all, I just scrape it off and then I put it in my palette. So um, I'm going to put my palette over this. I don't know where's the best place to put it because um, it's a bit dark. It's really dark this morning. I've got some of this. What was this one? Viridian. I've forgotten what colours are on here now. Viridian. If you want to know what colours there are, you have to go back <laughs> back to the beginning. Ooh, look at that. How pretty. Slap in some more water because we need loads of water. I was using my hate brush. I did um, that uh, <laughs> that um, what you the um, landscape painting. I think it goes up on Friday. I did with a hake brush, which was really nice. All sorts of water and everything. I don't know why it's so dark. It's really boring. I don't like it dark. Let's stick some of this. Oh, was this one? That's a nice colour. Violet. It was a violet red red violet from mission i like mission colors i have to get some more i think especially the um cobalt turquoise they've got oh it's beautiful it like separates on the page it's really nice and it goes into this lovely green and let me show you <laughs> i'll say let me show you if i can find the painting so, i've been doing some videos for beginner tutorials as well <laughs> and um, this <laughs> which will be up but this is the cobalt turquoise look how lovely it is mixed with a bit of oh, it's probably quinacridone yellow or something so I've been doing some like really simple beginner loosey goosey paintings to talk through oh that's a and that's a I've got so many bits of paper that have got cracked Sorry, paintings on. Sure. Oh, I don't know, Alexa, either. Alexa's talking to me now, and I don't know why. <laughs> Look at those colours together, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Let's put some of this Windsor Blue in just to um, make it a bit crazier. Slap that in. Ooh. <laughs> This is either going to make it or break it. I have I stayed away from the green and that one, which I forgot what that one was. <laughs> Let's drop some colour in. Ooh. I could spend my whole life doing this. <laughs> because it's just nice. Yeah. Get it in. And sometimes it's really nice to run some... I'm going to get some more... Oh, I can't find the bugger. Where is it? <laughs> I was looking for my granulation on there. It's something easy. Look, it's gone blue. <laughs> I need some more. I will get some more. Now I've got some lovely Patreons. I can... I'm running out of stuff. This is sort of like... Talk about poor starving artist. <laughs> I'm running out of um, supplies. Because I can't afford it. Shh, I'm not going to um, cry anyway yeah look look how brilliant that is and then i'm going to slap this is bleach by the way if anyone's interested and i talk about it a bit do i talk no maybe i don't <laughs> my supply video that's coming up tonight i think with the textures right that's so wet and i'm, I'm gonna to have to blob up some stuff because i want to sprinkle some i don't want it running anymore because that's just really nice I wonder what flowers I'm going to see. I mean, I've been painting pansies, so in my brain I'm thinking that's going to make a nice pansy background. But I might do daisies or something that might look nice, mightn't they? That's so pretty. Look at the way it's... And the granulation. The granulation medium is funny. It doesn't work with all colours. And then you find out which ones it's working with. It seems to pick up the blues more granulates with them I mean lots of people experiment with um, their colours don't they and write it all down I'm just one someone who does it and goes Ooh, and then forget how to do it <laughs> but it's always a new texture isn't it it's always something new let me like suck up some of this um, paint here because it's a bit much I'm just using a thirsty brush. A thirsty brush is where it's you dry off the brush, but it's damp, and then you put it in the painting, in the paint pool, and it should suck it up. It's 
sucks up the excess excess water and then you just mop it on a tissue like so let me get rid of some of these edges just paint around because if it does become a masterpiece and someone goes to frame it I don't want white edges don't like that bit either <laughs> it's quite nice I'm just going to tip it up once more and then tip it back back on itself <laughs> right what would look nice on there I'll tell you what would look nice is berries Not berries rose hips and I got reds I'm going to try and stick to these colors that I've got in here okay guys <laughs> It might be a mystery. Yeah, see, Benny. <laughs> exactly, Benny. It's either paint supplies or heating. At the moment, it's been heating. As soon as my blinky heating belt is like outrageous. Outrageous. And I'm not going to go on about it. I've just been like worrying about it. There was even a point where I did put some like yellow there, but I'm not going to know. There was a point where I was thinking I'm going to have to give up doing what I'm doing and go and go and get a proper job. <laughs> but it's like I was saying, I was talking to someone the other day, does YouTube. Um, their earnings have gone down, they've changed something on YouTube. Because um, I used to make a quite a, I mean, I haven't got like gazillions of followers subscribers but what I did have I used to um, make an I used to be okay but now it's like less than halved what I make on it each month and I'm not quite sure why I'm gonna go crying to them go oi mates what are you doing <laughs> that's why I started my uh, patreon again because um, you know because then even though that's not like confirmed earnings because people can come and go as you like <laughs> oh it's hard working for yourself <laughs> right these are rose hips okay and I'm making them up for my brain picture in the head I was looking at them in my garden the other day this is like that's not rose hip shape so I'm just gonna so we've got lots of negative painting going on here and it will come to life <laughs> when um, you'll sort of see what I'm getting at. I'm just sort of dropping in some rose hip shapes with the colours, whatever colours, I've forgotten what colour this was, what was that red, was it, this was Viridian which is like taking over the wild colour and that was a oh, I should have kept them out shouldn't I silly me because <laughs> this is going to be like a really lovely paint I know that was Windsor Blue and that was a red violet from Mission that was a Viridian that pink I've forgotten what it was I have to go back Yeah, Patreon's great and that I am I'm going going a bit crazy on there. I've put like everything up and you get my videos, like these videos, ad free, so you won't get any adverts or anything. And I'm so lovely that I provide everybody with a um a PDF with a sketch of what I've painted and a list of supplies and Lots of other things. There's loads of stuff on there. I'm just there. And all my old classes. I've still got a few more to go up, but I'm having to re... <laughs> re... Um, Rose Madder. Okay, thank you, Manny. <laughs> That's Rose Madder. I'm having to... Um, <clears throat> what's the word? What do you do? What do they call it when they make a film better, an old film better? I've forgotten the word. Um... Re, 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 where it's redone anyway, like re <laughs> digitized <laughs> because they're like the classes that I'm trying to put up, but then it's not working because I can't download them properly. I'm having to like re, re video, well, re render them on the video <laughs> thing. And 
their that classes from 2005 I think that was my first like watercolor classes and I had like this this channel with so if anyone remembers I was Michelle Brown back then and um, I had a channel a Ning channel is still there but um, I've um, sort of stopped it this is looking just like dots <laughs> they are rose hips honest um, and I had over 2,000 people on there but it was free so and then you joined the classes that were on there and they're the classes that I'm trying to um, sort of I, I keep looking at them and thinking oh god they're awful but at the time they weren't <laughs> they were like a new thing because not many people did online classes so it was really good and then I just sort of stopped doing it after that oh, the teacher like did it really well and um you know when you get like I think it's called a, it is imposter syndrome isn't it when you know, like things happen in your life and then um you lose all your confidence <laughs> and then you stop doing it because you don't think you can do it anymore and then things move on and then you get left behind <laughs> so I bring out my little little violin remastered thank you Della, Della. that's the word <laughs> thank you Lisa yeah remastered <laughs> I'm just going to blot out some shapes. These are rose hips, so um, yeah, you can see them. There was like, um, what was it? I said, I think that had the Ning channels. There was me, um, what's her face? Tamara Laporte, Tamara Laporte. Oh, she did all those life books as I was in one of her life books as well from oh, god that was like must have been 10 years ago now <laughs> did her a life book thing with her like I had what was my Mitzi paintings and um then there was Susie Blue I don't know if you remember her she did like those faces and I did watercolor flowers and my other art as well then I stopped and then I stopped doing all my YouTube and everything. <laughs> That's why my YouTube channel is so old. I think I joined like, I used to put, if you go back on my YouTube channel, you could see one. Does she still do life book? That's good. My well, Poppy Masterclass, Della. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up. That's going, I'm putting it up on um, uh, my, <laughs> That's the one I'm remastering. I'm putting it back up on, um, God, that green's really garish. No, I haven't used it. I'm going to stick a bit of pink in with it just to, um, yeah, I'm going to put it back up on my, um, <laughs> it's going up on my um, Patreon. That's the word. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and make these look a bit more like those hips. I'm just giving them their, um, I'm not going to give everyone their um, green little crown at the top. <laughs> Let's make it, I'm going to dark, I'm going to mix a dark, just, ooh, look, that's a dark. That's a, like a muddy grey dark. I love look, when all the colours mix together because you end up with this like fantastic colour that you could never mix in a million years. And usually it's a nice dark grey to use as a shadow or something in your painting. Do these look like them? Um, <laughs> brown what makes brown it's a viridian there we go let's put them make a brown color I'm going to do some stems I guess oh I was, should use my um thingy brush for this shouldn't I my um sword brush I love that brush where is it <laughs> this is an abundance of um abundance of rose hips because there were so many this year does that usually mean it's going to be a cold winter or something when there's an abundance of berries and things I don't know. am I just making that up <laughs> mm -hmm. 
this is still sort of drying the sheen's just gone off here so I'm going to add some salt because it was too wet when I added it before but you never know sometimes it like captures it and I'm going to stick a bit of this where can I stick this up here I'm going to make it look like there's like lines so if you stretch it out this is cling film by the way or you can use any bit of plastic if you stretch it out then it will create a lovely texture going on there so it's, start, it's starting to um, look like um, rose hips now isn't it <coughs> it is honest now I'm giving them their little um, stalks let's do the little crowns on these ones rose hips or some sort of thing <laughs> Yeah, I had a poppy masterclass and I had a what's I'm trying to think of classes I had on there. A portrait class, but um my portrait class, like painting faces, I used to love painting watercolour faces, and that's on there, and it's a really good class, loads of information, but my head was in the camera for a lot of it and I was thinking, Oh, I can't put that up, but I think I can because um it's got knowledge in it and stuff and um it's got lots of good things in it. I've just got my um my uh, sword brush here it's got information in it and people liked it when it was up all that time ago <coughs> so it can't be that bad <laughs> it's just me thinking oh the video quality is crap and my head's in it but you know those things happened then I remember like my first um, videos I used to record on one of those video cameras <laughs> and then I used to have to um, Sometimes I, I've still got my video camera. I used to have to um, upload. It took ages to upload, like forever. I used to sit there. The internet connections weren't that brilliant back then, were they? <laughs> and then my computer always used to die because it was like, no, I can't cope. <laughs> it still does now with some of them. I'm just going to add a few darks, I think. It needs some darker areas. I'm just using whatever this is mixed up here. This is turning out quite nice, even if I do say so myself. I'm not <laughs> quite happy with it. And it's more of an autumn painting than a winter one because of the colours, but it was just the colours I don't use ever, but they're quite nice together, aren't they, really? Some like, like shadows. It's just I'm just using a really light wishy washy mix of whatever's on my um I don't know what that bit is. It's quite nice though. You can like do negative painting round round them. Like that's quite bright there. So maybe I should do some that's working nicely. I thought I should do some like yellow ones that are because this is obviously in the sun. <laughs> Yummy and fruity. Oh. Yeah, but what eats the birds eat their rose hips, don't they? I was like, even though my rose hips seem to have like hipped and then just dried up <laughs> in the garden. I think maybe the frost got at them before, and there's even like rose buds that have just. I think yes, you could see them in my video the other day that I put up. Um, they just like sort of were opening, and the frost got them, so they've just. And I just love looking at dead things. <laughs> dead things are great. I like the way it's done that there. See, it's still quite wet. This, so um, I just want to add a bit more, sort of here, sort of background. It's a bit much white. So, so many rose hips. <laughs> I feel like I need to add some more stems. Oh, that's a really nice dark green, bluey green. This needs a stem. Ah, I'm going to do it with this because the I get start getting a bit um 
what's the word tight thinking oh yeah that's got to have a stem there and that's got to do this and that's got to do that so I was covering my mouth up there whilst I was speaking I don't know why let's do some like loosey goosey tendrils there you can I'm going to take this off even though you're supposed to leave it till it's dry dry but I think it's done what I want it to do <laughs> if you know what I mean sort of more or less you see that there's like a big tangle of um <clears throat> big tangle of stems and things so I'm just going to add to the tangle see I didn't even have to paint that and it looks fabulous I'm just going to add the to the tangle and um paint in some more so it looks like it should be there and I might put it back on and to dry 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 I quite like this now I'm not liking that bit here because my eye is drawn to that it's better <laughs> what else does it need I quite like that light bit but this bit's annoying me because it should like look like a more of a shape rather than a, a splodge I lick my brush Charlie's not here to tell me off so it's okay <laughs> I think this is going to have to be a, a talk through video. <laughs> right. I, this is how I used to paint like ages ago. And uh, it's weird how you like lose your confidence because I keep looking at people on, um, what do you call it? Instagram where they're doing like boring flowers. And I was like, no. <laughs> to get my loosey goosey painting back. I was starting to get a bit tight and also for my uh, fabric designs um they can't be too loose because <laughs> it's just like what is that <laughs> so i have to be tight for some of them but no. but then it's nice doing this isn't it? there I, I think i'll finish i'm going to leave this on as i really love the effect i'm going to wait for all that to dry move some of this clutter i'm so messy <laughs> But I don't think it matters because not everybody paints with a clean table, do they? And it's good to make a mess. It's normal. And then you end up with something like that. I quite like that. <laughs> oh, it's turned out nice again, isn't it? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I was trying to think. What was it? Was it Len? Not Lenny Hen. Who am I trying to think of? I'm showing the age. Is that comp comedian? Oh, it's turned out nice again, or something. You used to say that. Was it um, Larry Grayson? <laughs> Someone like that. I'm just adding, add, adding in a few more. This is. I just picked this brush up. It's a rigger. It's probably. Yeah, it's okay. It's a good thing to do. That. I'm just adding some little darks in to um. Yeah, talking about my Ning site again, I was going to like set the Ning up because it's got a good community on it because you, if you join it, you can um, um, <laughs> there's a community page so you can add photos. So that's what I don't like about Patreon because I'd like it for everyone if somebody does one of my uh, paintings like workshop tutorial things I'd like it if they could um, upload it and then I can help them if they have any questions and things like that on Patreon they don't have that which did put me off doing it for a bit but um, I'm going to stick there they're supposed to be giving um, updating it and having that uh, facility to do so anyway that's that <laughs> thank you for joining me I enjoyed painting that actually and that was with with look at those colors oh, they're just brilliant aren't they these are colors that i i have fat tubes of that i don't use much but i'm going to do this more often i think lucky dip colors <laughs> there's no worrying about what colors you've got because there we go proof 
just use any colours. <laughs> there's, a, there's a mountain of rose hips all falling off a heavy branch of them. There we go. <laughs> okay. I think that's turned out okay. And I, I think I'm finished now. And I will see you Friday, I think, where I will... I think I'm going to like do this for a few weeks because I've got like loads of loads of colours to use up so whilst I'm doing over on Patreon we're doing winter florals and it is going to cross over onto here because this is winter florals as well so um, so the whole of January we were doing winter texture texture lots of texture florals <laughs> so if you'd like to learn more how to paint magnificent paintings like this come and join Patreon please thank you <laughs> thank you very much appreciated there's loads of stuff there and um, yeah I will see you on Friday so take care everyone and happy new year again and I will see you soon bye